Hey creative people, you're watching Shiny Films and today HitFilm released a new version of their Express and Pro software. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of my favorite features in the Express version. So new on the HitFilm channel, they've released a new short called Avengers Assemble, which is of course an Avengers inspired short. And they've made two new tutorials from Axel and Javert as well, which you'd obviously you should go check out. Um, but today I'm just going to go through some of the features in the new version of HitFilm Express, which I find the most useful. As you can see here, I'm on the What's New page for the new HitFilm version 8. Uh, I'm just uh, also going to mention that HitFilm Express, the whole website, has had a redesign, all the logos and everything, and of course, they're going with that new iterative uh, upgrade system where instead of a new year number for every different version, now they just have one version with smaller updates, uh, but updates coming sooner to you as well, which is really great. So this update has, as you can see, a whole ton of new stuff, but most of it is kind of just bug fixes and some small stuff, but there are one or two things which are really important. So I'm just gonna dive in and uh, we're gonna take a look and I'll see you in HitFilm. Okay, here we are in the new HitFilm Express 2018. Of course, I'm gonna miss a lot of things in this video. So if you wanted to go check out that, you know, what's new page over here, then I'll leave a link to that in the description. Uh, but a lot of this stuff uh, I'll talk about later with add-ons and everything is kind of a bit uh, fake, or not fake, but it's kind of misleading. So I'll just go through some of the important stuff in this video. The first of which is editor keyframing. Uh, so I know that's something a lot of you got excited about when it came out in the pro version last year, and we're really, really hoping for it to come out in this year's version, and it's coming out. So as you can see, if I just add this clip into the editor, Actually, we don't even need to add this before. You can see uh, we've got these controls here for keyframing right up here. And if we click on the clip and we go into the controls panel, even in the transform already, we've got all of these keyframe options next to all of uh, the different things here, all of the different transform. And of course, if we add any kind of effect, for example, brightness and contrast, really simple. I always use that as my simple effect as an example, but you can keyframe basically everything in the editor now. And you've got the same kind of control over keyframing that you do in composite shots as well. So if you're familiar with the uh, pro version of HitFilm that's already been released, then this won't be a new feature for you, um, but it's just a, a little something that uh, I'd like to show in this video anyway. For example, if I just uh, click on the keyframe button, and uh, what we can do is even open up this panel here. So if we just click on this display timeline button, we can even drag this over so we get a bigger timeline to look at here. We can see we've got a little mini timeline which you can use for keyframing, which is like your expanded version of the layer in a comp shot. So if we just uh, grab the little mountain over here and drag it in, we can zoom in. And say over here, in the video right here, and you can see you've got this, uh, blue, this blue area, which is where our clip is. If we just go to somewhere in the video like here and we just lower the brightness, you can see it keyframes the brightness just like it would in a comp shot normally. As you can see, it keyframes like so. And you've got the same kind of controls that you did in comp shots as well. If you highlight the keyframes, go into the value graph, you can do that like you did in a comp shot as well. Change all of that interpolation and all of the same stuff that you could do in a comp shot normally. So that's pretty cool. The second thing I also want to talk about, which is kind of similar, is just that they've added motion blur into the editor as well. So just get rid of that quickly. Um, motion blur, yeah. So if I just quickly keep in the position, which you can now do in the editor, you can see that halfway through in the middle here, uh, it's a very sharp edge, but now you can add motion blur in the editor to make that edge a little bit softer, like so. Uh, you can't really see it because that's a very slow movement, but there you go. The second thing I wanted to talk about is preview quality. So if you go up to options over here, and you just uh, go to pause quality, playback quality, playback resolution, and pause resolution. As you can see, there's a whole ton more than just the uh, playback quality like we had, playback resolution like we had in the previous version. As you can see, I've got a full clay K clip in there, but the playback resolution is only quarter. So when I play it back, it plays back at a much lower resolution, which is still enough resolution because uh, it's only a small portion of my monitor here. But as you can see, you can adjust all the pause quality and resolution and in the settings, you can even adjust uh, what the quality means, for example, particles, whether they're on or off, and all of that kind of stuff, um, and what the quality means as well. So that's something which is also from the pro version. And also second monitor support, you can set the screen that you want uh, your viewer to be in. So if you have a second screen that you want to make full screen with your viewer, then you can do that here as well, just like in the pro version. But I just want to quickly talk about something that's new in HitFilm 
in this version of HitFilm, and that's actually the layout panel. So you can't access it right here, but you can access it uh, in a different workspace. So if you click on the workspaces button, you can see that this has actually changed as well, and they've added a couple new uh, workspaces. If I just click on compositing, then we'll get the layout panel over here. And this is a really nice panel. Uh, I won't go into this in detail or show it to you because Axel has a tutorial on it on the HitFilm channel. That's one of those new tutorials which you should check out. And here's a really nice tutorial on that. That's also a new feature in the pro version as well. So you'll get that update if you're, if you're a pro user as well. Um, so another thing I want to talk about is text. Uh, text in HitFilm has always been a little bit finicky, a little bit tricky. You have to go into a comp shot and create a text layer and a lot of people don't like that. Um, but something you can do is use the text effect. Now, uh, that's actually, it actually comes as an add-on, so it's not in the free version of Express, which is why, as I, if I go back to this page over here, it's a little bit misleading. It says over here, text can now be created in the editor by the text effect, and a couple other things, for example, the picture in picture effect, that kind of stuff is a, um, that kind of stuff is all uh, in the uh, add-ons, which you can't get, um, Oop, let me just reset the layout here. That's all stuff in add-ons, which you can't, uh, you have to buy if you want to get those, but they're pretty cheap. I think the text one is in the edit starter pack, which is only a couple of dollars. Um, and basically, if you haven't used the pro version of HitFilm, or you don't know what this text effect is, it's basically uh, an effect, which is like, if you use Premiere, it's kind of like that text effect where you can just drag it on, and then you can change all the controls and the properties of the text in here, change the position and everything. And it's much easier if you want to create subtitles or do text in the editor. But yeah, if you want that, you can buy the starter pack, the edit starter pack, which you can get. There's also here uh, some behavior effects, which are, um, if you just search up, not search up behavior, but they're all in this little behavior folder. There's acceleration, gravity, and throw. They're all pretty basic, to be honest. Uh, acceleration is, as you might expect, just a simple acceleration in, of an object in any direction. This stuff's kind of useful when you're animating and compositing, and gravity is basically acceleration, uh, but it's just going downwards and you can't change that. And throws uh, just uh, like a force in one direction, basically. So they're pretty simple stuff, but if you uh, actually need to use them, then they can be really useful and save you a ton of time rather than manually keyframing everything. It looks more like the pro version of HitFilm now, and again, we'll be getting those iterative updates. So if you just click on the uh, HitFilm Express logo here, you can see it's 8.0.7. blah. Um, that's the version that I currently have. And as they bring in more updates, bring in new features, rather than waiting a year for the next 2018 or 2019 version of HitFilm, they'll just bring it in as an update like they normally would with bug fixes. So there's the video, guys. Go download the new version of HitFilm Express. It is, of course, a free program. And uh, yeah, all of those new things should make your whole life a lot easier especially that uh, new editor keyframing, which I'm sure you've all been waiting to see. I'll see you in the next video. Stay shiny.